Hey everybody, this is Glidercat and it is time to play. We're back in Cryofall. Let's get to it. Uh, I noticed there's a little timer up here I didn't notice before in the top left. I guess that's... I have no idea what that is. But uh, let's get back to what we were doing. I think we said we were going to look at the, uh, the skill tree here. Let's just see what we've got going on here. Survival. Okay, increase your chances to stay alive by improving your maximum health, food, water, and energy reserves. You are just that much tougher to kill. All right. Looks good. Numbering. We've been cutting a lot of trees down, so we're advancing on that. And then foraging. I guess we got a little bit going here as well. Let's look at the tech tree. Cooking. We've got 358 points. Jerky, fried eggs, salt. What else do we have here? Defense, we've already researched everything. We haven't built everything. For sure. We need... Looks like we need copper ingots for the armor workbench. We might want to look at smelting copper, but we're going to... I guess we'll follow the objectives they've got laid out for us. I thought there was something else I wanted to build now, and I can't remember what it was. So let's just build the wooden walls. Let's just uh, follow the tutorial here and see what we can do. Build a wooden wall. Build buildings. Wooden wall. Okay, requires a single plank. Your basic protection against the local fauna and locals in general doesn't really protect against anything more than the most basic weapons. All right. Let's see about building a wall. Now I've got this guy right in my way. But let's build a wall this way. And what I gotta do primary click to build it. Guessing we can deconstruct this pretty easy if we want. All right, is that built? No, I got a few more to do. Too far. Let's go. That one needs to be built, and it looks like this guy here. And then let's build a door kind of right across from our little uh, sleeping bag thing here. Build. Build a wooden door. Oh, uh, we're going to need more wood. But we can place the blueprint. Uh, it looks like it snapped just the way we want it. Let's do that. I'm going to cut some trees. We're going to need a new axe soon. Just one of those water plants. You might go over and grab that. Let's check our inventory. Do we have any of those? No. Let's harvest that. We do have a water collector, but it looks like we're going to need to make some kind of glass bottle or something before we can use the water collector. At least that's my guess. No berries. Okay, we got a new world event. It says uh, over on the right, it says uh, native life forms of this world seem to be migrating to a different area, giving a great opportunity for hunting. All right. Not super enthusiastic about hunting. I know there's got to be a way we can catch these chickens, but I'm not going to chase them around the map right now. Grab some things that I just see nearby. Gonna hold off on fighting things. Let's drink some of this water. Let's 
sort in here. Let's see, our health looks like it's doing okay. We are slowly regenerating it automatically. We've got a buff to do that. Anything else? Do we need to eat? We can eat, I suppose. Good enough. And let's finish building this door. Uh, do I have to not have the axe in my hand or what? Trying to build it. I'm not sure why it's not letting me. Doing primary click. Yeah, I'll do a right click. But that's going to get rid of it. Do it again. Wooden door. Okay, now it's letting me construct. I need to build planks, it looks like. Craft, let's get some of those going. Get a hundred going. They craft up pretty quick. All right, now we've got our door. We've got a little bit of a wall here. Let's claim our points. Boom. See what else they give us. Okay, gather herbs and make medicine. This is what I'm kind of interested in doing. Tough battles will result in you losing your health. You can remedy this by making different medicines that will help you regain your health and cure any afflictions. Just using green herbs won't be enough for much longer. Okay, learn the herbal recipe, herbal remedy. Okay, we've done that. We've collected herb. We've collected the rust shroom. Okay. So green herbs, rust shrooms, and water bulbs are needed for this. Craft an herbal remedy on the cooking table or the medical laboratory. So we need a cooking table. Let's see if we can do that. Where might you be? Cooking table. How about... Um... Let's put a bunch of stations up along this wall. Boom. All right, and interact. Can I make a remedy? Anti-mutation medicine. Ooh, boy. All right, what do I need? I need water bulb fruit. Let's go hunting. Uh, maybe I'll grab my knife. Need to find some water bulb. There's some down here. Something else to harvest here. Let's grab it. That's that oil plant. See if we can get some more of that. Just scanning for the water bulb. Ooh, what's this down here? Oh, that's a wolf. Okay. Not a big deal. I'm not going to bother with him. Snake. We got some kind of plant here. Another water bulb down there, but it's right next to an enemy. Uh, like some kind of armadillo thing. Let's see. <laughs> Let's take this guy out. Took some damage there, but that's all right. <clears> There's <throat> a water bulb over here on the left. We might be able to hightail it over there. There's one over here, too, and some mushrooms. Let's collect this stuff up. And then this little guy right here, is this the green herb? That is. And there's one back behind us. They're kind of subtle. Now I see a bunch of them. Let's grab some of these. We know we need this for the medicine. And I might be able to get that one without aggroing our little wolf buddy. And then we saw a water plant up on that hill. Let's see if there's a way up. Opportunistically grab some things as we go. And keeping an eye out for the water plants. There's one over there. Let's grab it. And the herbs. Always grab fiber too. Got 
Got another one of these kind of herb plants. Gonna make our way back to base, actually. We're getting pretty far away. Let's see if I can snag this one under this guy's nose. Like it might be getting dark too. Uh, I saw a water plant. I want to grab it. Okay. Ooh, there's another one here. Let's grab it. We actually need some of this for our thirst and some of it for the medicine we're going to try and make here in a minute. That looks like a little tree almost. Okay, more water plant. There's another one way over there. Let's look at the map. Are we getting close? Where's our base? We gotta go north and west. No, no, no. Not in the mood. Food's looking actually okay. Bunch more herb here. Hopefully they don't spoil real quick. I don't think they do. Let's take a look at the map. Are we getting close? Yeah, we're getting there. These logs seem like an easy way to pick up wood. It's log piles. Twigs. Okay, there's our water collector. We are back home. Athletics, level two from running around, most likely. All right, let's see if we can make this now. We've got everything we need. wonder if this spoils. Let's craft one, and we'll take a look. Does it have a freshness? It does, unfortunately. In fact, we can eat one of these. Try it. Healing 30, eh? Let's do it. Let's do it. Removes nausea. Healing 30%. Let's do it. Uh, let's not do it. Let's craft another one. Or two. Three. And then maybe we can do a little fighting and then heal up. Getting a little dark. I've got my knife on me. Let's go see if we can take someone out. Craft some of these boards too while we're just running around. All right, there's our snake friend. We don't really get much from the snake, I don't think, in terms of like leather and stuff, but let's just take this guy out. We didn't take much damage there. Let's see what this guy gives us in the bottom right. Let's see what pops up. Oh, just toxin. That may come in handy. Take out this wolf. We'll get some leather. Ooh, we took a fair amount of damage and we got toxin poisoning. Let's loot this, head back to base, and see what we need to do. Hopefully we're not on the path to death here. Check the map. Yeah, we're we're heading in the right direction. Map. Alright, now we can try that potion. We need it. Let's do it. Herbal remedy. We're gonna alt click that and take a look at our health bar in the bottom left. Okay, it's slowly climbing. I don't know why we're seeing these things cycle. Yeah, we need more for sure. Let's do another one. Okay. 
Okay, we'll let that run for a bit. World event. Yeah, event is finished. Fine. And let's claim our benefit, our learning points here. I think we read through this already. There are many different medicine types in Cryofall. Some restore health, while others can remedy a specific affliction or offer other benefits. Crafting advanced medicine types requires learning specific recipes and technologies. An herbal remedy can be found in the cooking category. All right. Claim that. Build a furnace and smelt. Copper. Yeah, we talked about doing this at the end of the last episode. Build a furnace and manufacture copper ingots. Oops, there was a hint there. What did it say? In the technology menu, you can see where each recipe is crafted. The information is displayed. Okay. And you will need to mine some copper ore nodes to get the necessary ore for smelting. Okay, we've got some of that on us. Let's build a furnace in here somewhere. Build industry furnace. Just takes a bunch of stone. Oh boy, this is hard to see. Let's see. Maybe, maybe right there. We can kind of walk in between. Okay. Click on this guy to build it. All right, interact. And we've got, I think we still have the copper ore on us, so that can go into input. I don't have any charcoal. Let's grab some from our campfire. I think we've got some in here. We do. I'll take half of it out. Uh, in fact, let's uh, make some more charcoal. Up this in here and it should start going. <clears throat> Apply the matching recipe. Okay, we are smelting copper. Now, what are we going to get? Are we going to get ingots out of this? Looks like it. So we'll let that go. Okay. Learn some skills. We've already done that. Let's claim our learning points. Boom. And then build a farm. Learn farming basics. Then build a farm plot and plant any seeds. We need to research that. So let's go to technologies. Farming. We got 545 learning points. I imagine we can take up all of this. There's our farm plot. And there's a new workbench, farming workbench. Cucumber seeds, sure. Hunter's tools, yes please. Wooden watering can, why not? Tomato seeds will take all of this, right? These aren't very expensive, 10 points each. Copper watering can. Hmm, must hold more or something. We'll take it. And we'll take these seeds, bell peppers and potato seeds. Now, is there glass? Let's see. Got more food we could do. What is this all about? Black powder, crossbow. I bet the tutorial is going to take us through this. So I'm going to hold off. I think they're going to guide us to do that in a bit. How are we doing on our health and water? Not great. Not great. I kind of want to figure out how we can use this water collector. So if I right click, it's full of water, but I need an empty bottle. Where can I find out how to craft an empty bottle? I don't imagine we've unlocked that yet. Bottle with pure water. Hmm. Bottle with pure water. Yeah, here's empty bottle. <laughs> Where do we make those? Uh, maybe at the crafting bench. We haven't built one, have we? That's our cooking table. Yeah, we never did rebuild our craft table. Let's do that. Workbench is what I guess it's called. About right here. Can I walk in there? Yeah, I can. Boom. Get that built. Uh, interact. Can I build a glass bottle? I can. What does it take? Raw glass. Where do we get that? Raw glass. Raw glass. Raw glass. 
Wonder if that's something we have to cook up from sand. Whoops. Okay, this guy's still going. Getting this copper ink. It's going to be busy for a while. Let's see. Is there all glass in here? There is. Sand and ash. All right. Let's do that. Let's do it. Sand and ash. I think we put the ash away and the sand actually in here. Let's grab those. Center click and let's get rid of some stuff for now. Nash natural rubber we're not using leather we'll get to at some point and this toxin i'm not sure how to use it so we'll take it out of our inventory sort again uh fur i'm not sure yet how to use it bones oh we saw a recipe for bones wasn't it like glue or something right drop that down in there for now until we need it same thing with this oil fruit what else? Anything else to get? Oh, we've got raw meat to make. Let's get that going. Let's get that going down here. We're making charcoal down here. Look up the meat. I'll just put that charcoal back here in the this existing fire. We'll cook up more charcoal in a minute. I'm anxious to get the glass bottle jar. Hopefully those are reusable. Then we won't be so dependent on these water bulb fruits for, uh, at least for quenching our thirst. Okay, we're about to get some fire charred meat. I'm going to eat that and then maybe get some, uh, more charcoal going, or we could do some kebabs. In fact, let's leave the meat since that's fresh and let's eat these older mushroom kebabs. So hold on the alt key. Boom, boom, boom. That's probably good. All right. Let's interrupt our copper. Take these bars and let's do raw glass and let's send in the sand. Let's see. Shift click seems to do it. Do I have any ash anywhere? Any ash in here? No. <gasps> we have to burn wood for the ash, right? Hmm. We might. Anxious to get this glass. Alright. Craft. Glass jar. That was up here, I think. Glass jar. It takes 10. We've got exactly 10. So we can make one of these. And let's just see if we can get water out of our water collector down here. Boom. Pop in the glass jar. Oh, there's a drink button. Let's see. What the heck? There's a drink button right here. How did I not see that? It's right in front of my face. All right. Well, we've got a bottle of pure water here. It holds 30. We'll test that out next time our thirst gets low. We'll see if we uh, if we drink this, if we get the glass bottle back. Hopefully we do. Like I said, that'll reduce our dependency on these uh, water bulb fruits. All right, we've smelted some copper. Let's claim our learning points here, 40. Okay, then we haven't built our farm yet. Let's do that. Oh, secure better water source. Look at this, we've already done it. <laughs> manufacture raw glass check it out we anticipated that one all right let's do the farm though build a farm plot build a farming workbench plant any seeds uh do i have seeds i might have picked up some yeah we do tomato seeds hmm what if there's a way to make seeds probably the farming table right let's uh that's one of our objectives is the farming workbench. Let's see if we can make that. I'm going to put it right next to this one. I bet this is where we make seeds. My guess. I don't have any of these vegetables though. Uh, yeah, I don't have... 
I got orange berries. I got berries. I don't have the things we need. Bell pepper, carrots, cucumbers, potato. We'll have to find some of that in the wild first. Uh, boy. All right. We can make a copper watering can. We got tons of copper. Let's do it. Then we'll have it. And then let's get our furnace back to doing copper. Cause we need more ash. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, we can leave the sand in there. I got more charcoal to put in here. Let's keep making glass or may I'm sorry. Let's keep making, um, copper ingots. So I'll just hit apply matching recipe. We'll leave the sand in here and I'll leave this glass in the output. We'll let this thing just make copper. I'm wondering, I have to burn wood in here to get the ash. I'm going to pull out the charcoal and let's cook some mushrooms or something. And we'll feed in wood for the fuel because we need the ash to make glass. Rot. Organic matter that is completely spoiled and turned into rotten mush. I don't know if there's much we can do with that. Probably some berries or something that we didn't eat. All right, we're going to try and make some kind of food. We have those mushrooms we do. And I'm doing this more for the ash that I think is going to come out from burning the wood than I'm doing it for the kebabs themselves. But we got a little room in our food bar. Let's eat this last ke mushroom kebab that we have in inventory. We'll hold on to this meat. That looks like that's going to last quite a while. It's uh, 97% freshness. Curious to see if we get ash out of here. Maybe when the fuel bar goes all the way down, we'll get ash. Not sure what to do with this rot. We'll probably save this and just see if there's some use for it. And I'm just watching for this fuel bar to go down, hoping we get a little bit of ash so we can make glass. Oh, we got charcoal. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember how we got ash. I thought it was just from cooking up food, but we'll keep an eye on it. We got our glass jar. That may be enough for a while. Uh, we have seeds. We need to do a farm plot. Now, does this have to be within our little dude here range or land claim range and can we upgrade it okay land claim tier one helps you make your base safer by keeping other survivors from building or deconstructing anything in the surrounding area the land claim also ensures that your structures do not decay over time okay we saw all that tier two increases the protected area maximum structural integrity and destruction delay upgrade the structure requires learning the relevant technology so i don't think i've learned it let's see is there something obvious that we can get to? Doesn't look like it. Probably. It's preview. These all say, pre oh, they all say preview. Tier one we can do. Do we have to satisfy all of tier one before we get the tier two? Not sure. We've got 498 points. These are 10 each. Let's just uh, research all of these. Black powder, crossbow. That sounds kind of cool. Cartridges, arrows, flintlock pistol, a musket, iron tipped arrows. I like it. And let's do the rest of the cooking as well. We got pickled cucumbers, jerky, fried eggs, and salt. Yeah, we see those chickens running around. It'd be nice to be able to get to those. Looks like I cannot do this yet. These ones I can't do yet. The tree is locked. You want to research chemistry? Uh, oh, I'm going to hit no. Okay, so first we have to research these things. Okay, research cost is 50. Let's do it. Yep. Cement, iron mace, tarpaulin. We got a bunch of new things to do there. 
industry. Back cooking. Research cost is 50. Fried insect meat. Berry jam. Cooked rice. Oh man, we got lots to do. We got lots to do. What's this escape? Locked. Okay. Looks like once we research all of the technology tiers, then we can click escape and maybe that's like the, uh, the end game goal. Let's take a look down here at our campfire. Are we getting anything? Any ash? We did. Good. Want that for glass. We got a bunch of kebabs coming. A little bit of charcoal. Alright. Farm plot. Do it. Can we put these? Oh, we need sand for the farm plot. What? Alright. Let's go find it. I think I used a pickaxe for that. There's some right there. We're going to need better tools. Double check, make sure I'm getting what I think I'm getting. Where? I don't see it. Clay. Was that clay? I think that might have been clay. See if we can find some sand piles. Pick up food and things that we see. Also, and herbs and all that. Good mine this ore. A little on the rare side. Looks like they're actually giving us learning points for doing this as well. Looking for those sand piles. May not be in this particular biome. We'll take a look at the map here. I think we're getting rocks and copper out of that. Um, Mapola. Forest temperate. Forest temperate. Meadows. Rocky Mountains. Yeah, all this is forest temperate. Meadows. Let's keep heading out to the west a little bit. Then maybe we'll kind of shift direction and go north. I'm going to... I'm going to wait on our water to get lower, and then we're going to drink our jar. In fact, I'll leave that water plant alone. Oops, here's a buddy. Take this guy out. Ooh, we got another something here, over here. I don't, this looks kind of sickly. Whatever. Oh my gosh, he's going to take us out. We got to move out of here. He's fast too. Uh, let's see if we can direct him away from our kill. Maybe we'll have a chance to still harvest that. This guy is fast. But I think we will outrun him. I think. I hope. <laughs> Jeez. He's still coming. I should have put the remedy on our hot bar. Okay, my stamina is way down. Oh, he's not giving up. He's not giving up. I don't really have protection either. All right, let's uh, quickly see if I can grab one of those. Is he done chasing us? Looks like it. I'd love to go get that kill that we had. I can find it. But I am not sure where it is. There it is. We'll take it. Harvest this guy. And let's see. Let's take another potion. Or herbal remedy. It'll help. Um... I think that's it. We were coming out here originally looking for sand. I don't see any.
gaining skills and foraging as we kind of walk around here and collect stuff. Got stuff to make more remedy, but I think I need a table to do it. Could always build one out here if we needed to. I wonder if there's a way to craft sand from the um from the rocks. Oh, we're coming into a sandy area. Here we go. This looks good. So next to the water looks like we can get sand. Let's grab a bunch of this. I see little crabs that are probably an enemy for us. I'm going to try to avoid them if I can. We're away from our base, but let's, while we're out here, let's try and get this sand. Let's see how we're doing. 125. We've still got five inventory slots. Pickaxe looks like it's in decent shape. We can always make another one pretty easy, I think. Let's get a bunch of this sand while we're out here and we can take it back. What is this? Nothing. Okay. I don't know if these resources respawn. I'm not sure. Food and water look okay. Grab a bunch of sand while we're out here. Turtle, I imagine, is good for something. Should we try to take out the turtle? And that's a good resource. All right, what do we get? Animal fat. That's it. Hmm. Thought we would have got some kind of meat or something out of there. All right, one more bunch of sand, then we'll head back to base, and then we'll wrap up this episode. Let's see if we can find our way back. We'll grab the torch. Take a look at the map. We are way down here, so we need to head east and north, right? Be nice to try to uncover some of the map while we do it. Let's go south and then east. At night's not the best time to do this, right? With the enemies out here, I gotta be ready to hit the. Oh man, I've got a low durability knife too. But we'll chance it. Prospecting skill discovered. We'll take it. Oh, there's a whole mountainous area here. We can get a bunch of ore in that, but... Ooh, I wonder what this is. Uh, let's just try and whack this thing with the pickaxe. Get anything from this? That looks like something special. We'll have to figure that out later. Might need a higher powered, uh, higher level pickaxe to harvest that, I'm guessing. Check the map, get our bearings. Yeah, we've got a ways to go. We're not really uncovering much new map here. There's a little pile of something. What is this? Does it? Doesn't really tell us. Looks like sand. Okay. Getting a bunch of resources on this little excursion. Got tons of fiber. We've got a fair amount of ground to cover here.
Let's, uh, oh, we're going to run out of this torch. It's about ready to die off. I was going to say, let's try our water glass here, our little bottle of water, and see what happens if we get the jar back. We do. Awesome. So, yeah, we don't need to worry about these water plants unless we need, to, unless we need them for crafting purposes. So I'm not going to collect them right now. They're just going to go bad. Oh boy. I didn't see that guy there. I think we can outrun him pretty easy. Map. Not sure where we get all those vegetable seeds. We must have to do a lot more exploring. All right, we are safe and sound back at base. Let's wrap this episode up. Next episode, we'll go through our inventory and maybe um see what we can craft, see what we can get rid of, free up space, maybe make some more glass, maybe keep two jars of water on us, although that one sure seemed to hold a lot. We'll eat some food, do all that good stuff, and work on the objectives. But yeah, let's wrap this one here. For now, this is Glidercat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series on Cryofall. Very, very cool game. I'm enjoying it so far. We've got a bunch. It's got a really good tutorial. And it's kind of taking us through all the objectives. We've got a bunch more to get to. We'll look at these um, completionist things too next episode. I think that'll give us some learning points. For now, it's Glidercat signing off. I'll see you in the next one.